So it is time to say goodbye. Goodbye to this. I've rocked them. I told you guys I'm gonna wear them for three weeks and I've rocked them for three weeks. Discovery Natural. If you've not yet subscribed, click that subscribe button and also click the notification bell because that is how you can find out what is going on on this channel and what you can find out about our new Facebook group called Discovery Natural Group where you can send me questions, you can post your pictures of your hair so that we can look at it and we can talk about it and we can answer any questions that you have about your natural hair. I posted a picture um a post on insta story and i was saying oh do you guys want me to show you how i take down my hair and the response was 79 percent of you all 79 percent let's see if we can get it of you all said you wanted so of course i'm going to do the video right now and when you're going to take out your crochet braid there are things that you can you should make sure of you have to make sure that you have these two things which is your rat tail comb and your scissors what i do is i first of all i try to find the loop so just take your fingers and just try and find the loop if you can that is good so once you find the loop you can just easily just pull your hair try and see if you can pull your hair the extension through the loop so this is the loop right here and i'm gonna try and see if i can pull the extension right there through the loop to kind of untie it let's do that gently so you can see this one is easily coming through the loop like that and then you can try and just easily Pull it through now if you have an issue like right now I think my hair has grown and connected with the extension you see this is my hair you can see if you can wiggle your hair through it see if you can wiggle your hair through it if you can't I'm just gonna try and see if I can now if I can't what I just do is I just get the scissors and I'm gonna cro cut the crochet I really don't care if you are someone that you're like, oh my gosh, I want to reuse that crochet. This might not be the best option for you, but once you cut the crochet, it's free. And of course, you this is kind of wasted now, but that's it. So your hair is um, free from the crochet. Now, another thing that you can do is you can use your rattle right comb and just put it through the loop and use your right tail comb to kind of wiggle it through like this you see that's much faster so once you've used that let's pull it through and you're good to go so those are the two ways that i remove my crochet or uh, you can just go the hard way and the hard way will be just to take your fingers and kind of pull it through like this and it's free and you're good to go now that I've taken out all the crochet, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray some water all over my hair. I'm just going to use some conditioner and this is just VO5, it's just a cheaper conditioner. This conditioner has been really good with the tangling hair and I'm just going to put it all over my hair. After unraveling my hair, I will shampoo and I'll deep condition it really well. Then next week, I'll do a protein treatment to strengthen it or I could do it middle of the week just to strengthen my hair again now you might say when can you reinstall another crochet i would say give it about a week or two weeks two weeks preferably so that your hair kind of rejuvenates itself i personally will not do it back to back to back so that is what you do and that is what i'm doing i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope it helps you and it um, gives you more information as to how to care for your hair after you take out the crochet thanks for watching i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye